everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today, I am going to be doing a double PSA reveal of cards that were submitted by Patreons on my behalf over to PSA. If you're not aware, what I do for Patreons of my channel, I will submit cards over to PSA at no additional charge other than the standard fee. So if it's a $30 fee, you just paid the 30 bucks, I don't charge any extra to submit the cards on your behalf. If that's something you're interested in, all you have to do is check the Patreon link in the video description below to find out all about what Patreon offers I do all sorts of things like break credits, you get first access into all of my breaks, you can get monthly packs, all sorts of different things. You can do it for as little as $2 a month. So without further ado, let's do the PSA reveal. Now this first one is only going to have five cards in it, and I already opened the boxes so we didn't have to put up with the, with the, with the, dealing of opening the packages so let's see now this one's interesting because there's one card in here that i think did not get graded we can tell just by that so we'll see what that's all about and we'll go from there now in this first one we had kevin and victor submit cards and then i have a couple as well so without further delay let's get into it this first one is going to be for Victor, it is a 2021 Bowman Chrome Prospects Eduardo Garcia Orange Shimmer. It is numbered 7 out of 25. So let's see what we get. Victor has submitted a few of these. He's an Eduardo Garcia. He's looking for the whole rainbow. So let's see what this one gets. He's had most of them graded. This is an orange. And this one comes back. A gem mint 10. Now, these are really hard to get in a 10. Most everyone that we've sent in for him has got a 9, but this one scores the 10. So, a beautiful one to start right there for Victor. We have the 10. Now, this next one is going to be one of my cards. It is a 2022 Tops On Demand Dynamic Duels. Dusty Baker, Steve Garvey. Dual autograph, it is number 22 out of 25. It is the blue parallel. So let's see what this one gets. It is a gem mint 10. Beautiful one right there. So we're two for two on the gem mints. Now let's see what is going on with this card. Because this one did not get graded. We'll see if it says what's up with this. Okay, and here we go. This is a 2020 Tops On Demand, Tony Perez, Andre D Dawson Dynamic Duels Auto. It is a red parallel, and it gets a mini size. So I think this, what they called this is, it's actually called an N6. And what they're saying is this card is not the right size. So what they mean by that is this card should or probably is a little bit and it is it is a little bit shorter i don't know if you guys can see that but because it is a little bit shorter which is a printing error on top's part so they can't grade it because it is too short now you can resubmit it and sometimes it'll go through little bit bummed because this is a 7 out of 10 Dawson and Perez. Beautiful auto, but they won't grade it. Now, here's the good news. They won't charge you either. So a little bit of an odd one here. First time I've ever seen that. But you don't get charged because they know it is an error on Top's part, not your part. They're not claiming it was trimmed. It's just too short for it to not be slabbed by PSA. So a little bit of a weird one there. Now, that was one of mine. This one is also one of mine. It is the Wander Franco Tops Now Road to Opening Day. This is the Black Border Parallel. It is a Wander Franco rookie card numbered 81 out of 99. And this one gets a gem mint 10. So we are three for four, I guess, on tens. But for the ones that are slabbed, we're three for three. We didn't get charged for that one, so we won't count that. 
So we get three gem mints. Now the last one here is going to be for Kevin R. He hit this card in a break. We submitted it straight from the break. It is it is an Ernie Clement 2022 Top Series 2 1987 on card auto. The Ernie Clement scores a mint nine. So we get the nine. Not quite sure why it gets a nine. Never will know the difference between a nine and a ten. It's not a gem mint, but we do get the mint. So that is the first PSA reveal. Now in this next one, let me get over to that one so I know what cards we're going to be ripping. We have Julian Paz. We have Robert G. and Joshua D. with cards. And then I have a couple as well in here. There's a few more cards in this one. I believe there's eight or nine. So we'll see what happens here. And get the boxes and all of the stuff out of the way. And let's see what we have here. Looks like every one of these got slabbed. So we'll take that. We'll take that. Okay, so here we go. What did I do with my... See if we can get all of these on screen. Okay, so our first one is going to be for Robert G. A beautiful Wander Franco... 2022 Tops Gypsy Queen Chrome Blue Parallel Rookie Card. This one's numbered 54 out of 99. And this one scores a blue refractor, a mint nine. So we get the mint nine out of the Wander Franco. Love that card. It's a beautiful jersey match card. Sweet one right there. Congrats on that one, Robert. For our next one, we have. For Joshua D. Joshua D. This is a case hit in 2022 Top Series 2. This is a Wander Franco home field advantage card. And this one is going to score a Mint 9 as well. So we get another Mint 9, two Wander Franco Mint 9s right there. Hopefully we got enough card stands here. Now this next one, I believe this one is mine. Yeah, it is. Um, this would be a 2022 Bowman Chrome George Valera Sky Blue. This one's numbered 455 out of 499. It is his first Bowman, one of the bigger cards you can collect out of 2022 Bowman. So this is a paper prospect, by the way. It is not a Chrome. So it is a paper prospect, sky blue. This one comes in at a mint nine as well. So on our first submission, we have a bunch of tens. And on this one, a little bit of a stingier grader, it looks like. That one gets a mint nine. Okay, this next one is mine as well. Beautiful card right here. It is a 2021 Bowman Chrome Sapphire Bobby Witt Jr. Yellow, numbered 18 out of 50 and this one sapphire card beautiful one yellow comes in at another mint nine so a lot of nines showing up in this submission no tens yet in the second submission our next card this is another one of mine this is a 2022 bowman chrome Michael Escado, this one is a gold, number 26 out of 50, first Bowman. So we got the gold refractor. Chrome Prospects comes in at another mint nine. So nines across the board so far in our second submission. No tens yet. This next one is also one of mine. Another gold card. This is a Nick Gonzalez, one of the bigger prospects in the pirates organization beautiful gold shimmer right here this one is a 2022 bowman nick gonzalez it's not his first but it is a gold and nick gonzalez obviously one of their bigger prospects so let's see what this one gets it's the gold shimmer and it gets another mint nine so we are hitting up a ton of nines in this one and we've only got three more to go. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, nine so far. 
This next one going to be a 2021 Bowman Chrome Sapphire Mike Trout Aqua Refractor. This was this one's number 95 out of 99. This is another one of my cards. I collect Mike Trout. Love this one. Beautiful card right here. 2021 Bowman Chrome Mike Trout Aqua Refractor to 99. There we go. We get our first Gem Mint 10 out of this one. So it took us a while, but we did get a 10. So we'll take that. Now our next one. Again, this is another one of my cards. This is a 2022 Bowman Chrome Alan Serta Refractor Auto number 328 out of 499. So Refractor Auto right here of his first Alan Serta of the Reds. Refractor gets a Gem Mint 9. So the 9s, ton of 9s here in this one. All right, now this next one is a 2022 Gypsy Queen Dylan Carlson one of one auto. Now we knew when we submitted this card, it would not get a 10. It had the marks up on both of the corners. Not quite sure what this card will get. Fairly centered, but probably three corner issues right here. So it'll be interesting to see what this one gets, but it's a one of one. This one is for Julian. Julian wanted to get the card slabbed regardless of the grade. So let's see what we get here. Um, it'll be real interesting. So we get the one of one, and this one comes back at an excellent to near mint six. Now this was pack pulled during a break, and it came out as a six, as a one of one, a little bit of a letdown on the six, but we did know it was not going to get a 10. If you look closely here, you can see you got a corner here. The corner up here is kind of not great. So some corner issues centered fairly well, but overall a one of one. It's the only one in existence. It's still a beautiful on card auto Dylan Carlson black from 2022 Gypsy Queen. Tough pull to get and it ends up getting a six. So congrats to everyone on their grades. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the grades. Were they fair? Were they not fair? We did get a lot of nines. Kind of an odd deal with the Tony Perez, Andre Dawson card right here. So a little bit of an odd reveal, but we did end up getting, I believe it was four tens overall. And let's see, it would have been one, two, three, four, one, six, seven, eight, nine. So we go two for one, nine to tens. And then we did get the one six, which we kind of knew it wasn't going to get a 10 there. So again, like I said, if you are interested in having me submit cards on your behalf, you got to be a patron. I will do it for you at no additional charge. I pay for the shipping out there. So it actually is cheaper to use me than it would be to do it yourself. If you're interested in that, just check out the Patreon description in the link below. I would love it if you could throw over to first, hit the like button on this video. Be sure to subscribe. We do all sorts of different things on the channels, such as set reviews, PSA reveals, breaks, all sorts of different stuff. Really fun community with Patreon. It's got over 100 members in it. It gets you Discord community access and so much more. A great way to connect with other like-minded collectors in the hobby. Would love to have you as a Patreon. And with that, guys, I'm going to sign off. As always, I hope when you're out there in the wild, you have great luck finding the cards that you want to pull. And when you rip the packs, I hope you get some fire. Until the next video, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon.